Thank you everyone for joining. Today, let's talk about themes in Power BI Desktop. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss anything. Now, let's do this. So here we are in Power BI Desktop and I already created this report but my goal here is to customize the theme. So there are a few options here and let's go over them real quick. So the first thing that you wanna do is go over view. Click view and then hit the drop down arrow here. So you can pick any from here. So those themes right there are by default. You can select any theme. So that's one option. So the next option that we have is to browse for themes. So if you hit this option, a new window will pop up. And then basically you are looking for themes that you already saved in your computer. It is usually a JSON file. So that's the second option. The third option here is to select the theme gallery option. So let's do that real quick. So we are going to this website and then you can select any report. So let's say that we like this one right here. The first one hit this option then you can explore the report and then you can ask yourself how can i use this as a template if you scroll down a little bit there is a json file here if you want to use this as a theme you can do that for this particular report so basically hit this option here and then automatically you will see the json file here and then you can reuse it whenever you want it so that was the third option. Let's go back to the report real quick. The other option, and this is the one that we're gonna be talking about today, is the customized current theme. So this is very powerful because like I said, it gives you the power to select any color based on your preferences. So let's do that real quick. Hit this option. So this window pops up and now we have a few options here to customize. So let's get started with name and colors. So for theme colors, we have eight different colors, right? That we need to customize. So this is really cool. Because for this purpose, if you already have the colors of your company, you have the hex code for your company, you can just copy and paste those colors into this window, right? But if you want to explore, and uh, we have a few websites and there is free information that you can use for this purpose. For this particular tutorial, we're gonna use a website called Color Brewer. So let's do that. So this is a website, and I'm gonna share with you guys the link as well, so you can use this as a reference. But what we can do here is the following. We can use this option here called the Virgin. And then we're gonna select the number of data classes. For this particular case, we have eight, because like I said, we have eight different options there and then we can select this one for example like i said you can select anything here but i'm going to select this one right here and then we're going to use these hex codes right there see so let's do this real quick so now let's use these hex codes real quick for color one we're going to select this one right here control v color two for color two, we're gonna use this one right here, and so on, right? For color three, copy this into here, paste, and then we can keep doing for the other colors, same thing. So there you go, we have those colors there. And then for sentiment colors, we don't have to change anything here. For advanced, leave it as is. For text, yeah, we wanna make a couple of changes here for text. For general, 
no major changes there and then for title let's change this to 14 and then for cards and kpis so we're going to make a couple of changes there as well so let's use then 45 font size and then for font color so let's change it then for font color let's use the first hex code that we had right here this one right here how about that Control c Control v and then for tab headers we don't have to make any changes there so let's keep moving for visuals so for background what we're going to do here is to hit transparency 100 percent okay and then for border this should be off okay so we are good there header so let's select right here 50 percent transparency there you go that's the only change that we have there tooltip let's leave as is then let's move on to page wallpaper specifically so we're going to select a specific gray color right there and we're going to use this one right here there you go and then for transparency we're going to use 85 percent okay there you go for page background we're going to select another gray color there this one right here control v and then transparency we're going to use 85 percent here as well there you go so we are done with page for filter pane for now we don't want to make any changes there no? so let's leave this as is for now so once we are done with the changes so we are good to go my friends let's hit apply and let's see what happens check this out this changes automatically right like i said if you are trying to customize this to your company's logos maybe something that you prefer having as part of your part of report you can do that easily so the coolest thing about these themes or about the theme that we just created is that you can save it and then you can reuse it in a different report so let's go to view here again hit the drop down arrow and then hit the option save current theme so let's do that check this out let's call this my own theme for now and as you can see this is a json file let's hit save and we are good to go so the next time we're going to reuse this thing we can do that in a different report so if we want to test it we can do that as well so let's open a new report here new so we can do this real quick my friends let's close this let's go to view here drop down arrow and then browse for themes see right here so we have our theme saved in a json file let's hit this option and let's hit open and let's see what happens so automatically it says the theme was imported successfully so let's try this one let's try a sample here because i want to see if this is working right so let's import this financial stable load so we can start creating visuals real quick and see if this is working so let's say that we want to insert here a shape this one right here check this out automatically the colors that we saved are populated here so this means that this is working and you can start customizing it and then let's insert another visual here just for example there you go let's select sales into this and also date into this So you can it's just date for example you can do whatever you want here right and then you can insert another implicit measure there another implicit measure so you can clearly see that this is changing so it is working perfectly fine and then let's insert a card we can do that as well let's say just for profit into that boom it is perfectly working my friends so you are ready to use this theme 
for any other report. So you can say time and you can standardize your reports. All right, folks, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. Leave your questions, comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.